Hello, Boilers, and welcome back to the third edition of Double Vision. I'm Ashley McCord. And I'm Jared Borum. We hope you had a safe and sweet homecoming. And now, let's bring it on over to Lindsay with BE News. Hi, I'm Lindsay, and this is BE News. The fall games have been postponed until next Thursday, October 5th. They will start at 9 and end around 1.30. PE classes will be going out to support their fellow classmates as they perform their best on the field. Good luck, everyone. Come to the FCA kickoff movie night on September 30th, where you can find out more about what FCA is. There will be movies and friends, and you'll be able to socialize. Make sure you tweet at BBCHSFCA to let them know that you're coming. Thanks, Lindsay. The absence of Angelica in BE News was due to a special news report coming to you right now. Most people were very surprised to see Boiler Block added to their 2017 and 2018 schedule. I've sat down with some students talking a little bit about what Boiler Block is and how they like it. Hi, my name is Aaliyah Hall and I'm a senior here at BBCHS. Boiler Block really helps me when I want to break from the day, just relax. I can use it as a study hall. Also, if I'm struggling in a class, I can go there and get extra help because I'm also a student athlete, so I can't, I don't have a lot of time after school, so it really helps. My Boiler Block teacher really helps me with college, helps me plan out what I want to do in the future, helps me have more ideas about what that is around the world than where I want to go to college. My name is Cameron Bobo. I'm a senior at BBCHS this year. Um, Boiler Block is a great class that, that was installed because it gives you extra curriculum help. And instead of wasting time from having to leave other classes to go get extra help, they invented an extra hour so you can spend more time and have focus on the other hours. Yo, this is Anthony Williams. I'm in the 11th grade. Uh, I think Boiler Block helps because it helps me prepare for classes. Like because like last year, you just go to study hall and you just thought like school wasn't like really important. But Boiler Pop, like the teacher, Miss Williams, like she like helps me with everything. Like she prepared me for everything. Like, I don't know, she just made me feel like a better person now than I was last year. As you can see, Boiler Block is a great addition to the BBCHS school schedule. And this is BE News. Thanks, Boilers. The NHS induction ceremony will be held on Monday, October 2nd at 7.30 in the odd. All inductees are expected to attend. Please feel free to invite your friends and family. Volleyball will be holding a Best Buddies Night on October 3rd to honor all of the athletes participating in the fall games. Be sure to go to show your support to both the volleyball team and your buddies. Now let's send it over to Ryan and Cameron with BSN. I'm Ryan Fravel. And I'm Cameron Bridell. And, and this, this is BSN. BSN. The football team looks to keep their playoff hopes alive after a hard-fought loss against Bolingbrook. Today, they play at normal in a must-win situation. Go get that W, Boilers. The volleyball team currently stands at 14-2. and two. On October 3rd, they'll be hosting a Best Buddies night in between the sophomore and varsity game. Good luck, ladies, and to the buddies. The girls' tennis team had their all-city meet for Wednesday. Coming up, they have their SWSC conference meet. Good luck, ladies. Boys golf just won all city for the sixth year in a row over Bishop Mack and Kankakee. They have sectionals coming up, and good luck, guys. Coming up, the girls' swim and dive team has their Andrew invite. Good luck, ladies. Boys cross country just won all city while the girls took second. They look to keep their momentum going at the Savage invite. Good luck, guys. The soccer team is finishing up their fall classic tomorrow. Coming up, they have a tough road test against Thornton. Good luck. I got a chance to sit down with the Marcanic Twins, Anthony and Nick, for a more inside scoop of the boys' soccer team. This weekend, we'll be attending an uh, Iowa tournament um, where the best high school teams will play against each other. And we're in it, and hopefully we do good against the best high school teams. Uh, this year, we would like to accomplish going back to state and winning it this time. My brother and I committed to NIU, and we committed there because my mother went there for a little bit. And, and the sports facilities are awesome. Yeah, and soccer team's getting better. Our team chemistry is good with Ephra, my brother, and yeah. I. And since we've been playing, uh, since we've been young, and like 
we know you, what we're going to do and stuff, and we help each other out. Thanks, Anthony and Nick. A chance to sit down with Senior Effort to Villa to ask some questions about him playing both football and soccer and on his thoughts on this year's soccer team. tournament, which we've all been looking forward to. It is by far the biggest uh, high school tournament in the country for soccer, and we're being our first game it's against a team from uh, Kansas named Shawnee, I believe, and it should be a good matchup. Probably all the chemistry that we have, we've all been playing with each other for a pretty long time. Um, the twins and I are by far um, one of like, the funnest and entertaining people to play with. We are able to combine with every player. If we see an opportunity that they can score or another person can score, we're always going to try passing it to them. If they have an opening, we're going to pass it. And just the chemistry that we all have, we're all really good friends with each other. We all um, enjoy each other's company. Sometimes we go out to eat after games, sometimes we don't, but practices are a lot of fun. And we always have a couple jokes during practice and just enjoy it. Sometimes I go to school at 7.30 a.m. and I don't get home till 8.30, 9 o'clock p.m. And the transition from having football after school from 3.15 or 3.30 to 5.30 and having 70 kids on the field, then going to soccer and having maybe 19, 20 people if we're lucky sometimes. It's kind of different and weird, but at the same time, when I'm on the football field at a game and I'm playing, I look back at it like, uh, man, I can't wait to play soccer. I can't wait to play in the next game. Just give me a lot more motivation and passion and heart. And when I'm on the soccer field, I'm like, okay, next Friday is going to be a big game. I'm going to take this W. Thanks, Sephra, and good luck to the guys at the Iowa Tournament. That's all for today, Boilers. And as always, I'm Karen Bedell. And I'm Ryan Frable. And this has been BSN signing off. Thanks, Ryan and Cameron. Juniors and seniors interested in signing up for college visits, please sign up in advance in the counseling office. The list of colleges participating in this event will be shown to you right now. Once again, the 2017 fall games have been moved to next Thursday, October 5th. Please come out to the turf to support your buddies. Also, students, don't forget to check your emails every day. Boilers, be sure to always check the BBCHS Boiling Point for more news and in-depth stories on what's happening here at BBCHS. Well, looks like that's all we have for you, Boilers. I'm Ashley McCord. And I'm Jared Borum. Thanks for watching. And see you next time. <laughs> I've been tired.